Well, if you're trying to follow the real estate market, don't bother. Leave it to the professionals. We've got two of them here today. They'll help straighten it out for us in our heads. Camelia Rebo is here. She's a real estate broker with Remax Realty Specialists. And Danny Simbron, a mortgage broker with Mortgage Edge. Thank you for being here, guys. We need the help, all the help we can get. Great. So it's uh, the market, it's, it's hard to know what's happening. Could you give me a little overview on the real estate market right now? Yeah, well, um, Catherine Wynn has made her announcements and uh, it's caused a little bit of an impact on the current market. Um, their goal is to cool it off. And uh, it's mainly because um, our housing rate has gone up so fast in such a short amount of time. Um, they wanna make it sustainable. Um, so they're trying to, um, you know, make the prices uh, more affordable for people and uh, make it more in line with our current economy and people's incomes. And even though it's really about foreign buyers, yeah. it does have an effect on the overall market, doesn't it? Yeah, well, the foreign buyers are driving up the market. Um, there was multiple bidding wars a few months ago, and, um, it, you know, it's a small percentage of the foreign buyers, but implementing this new tax definitely helps. Would you say this is a buyer's market or a seller's market? I'd say it would, it's turned into a buyer's market, definitely, um, mainly because of the amount of um, supply that's currently out there. Um, buyers are a little bit weary. They're thinking, oh, is there a bubble? Is it going to pop? Um, what's going to happen? So kind of taking a step back. Um, and sellers are like, oh, we have to take advantage of this now while the prices are mm -hmm. high. So you've seen this influx of um, properties go on the market. Um, so now it's turned into a buyer's market, definitely. Well, it's interesting. You, you can sell the house you're in, yeah. but you got to live somewhere. Yeah, so you you're do. buying another yeah. one, right? Works both ways, definitely. Yeah. Sure does. Well, we know that you have to have a mortgage in order yeah. to buy a house. Well, some people can buy with all cash, but that's pretty rare, right, Danny? Yeah. Yes, yes. How, does it happen very often? Well, you, you know, you get the people coming into the office who need a mortgage, so I guess you don't see the cash buyers very often. Um, but tell me a little bit about mortgage rates and where we're going to see those head in the next little while. Uh, right now, mortgage rates are very low. Um, they expect them to stay pretty low for now, uh, just because of the economy still hasn't gone to where it's supposed to be as in risen but uh, the the most popular product in Canada is the five-year fixed which everyone is very comfortable with it's a more of a safer route to take um, <clears throat> but in the future they're saying that the rates are gonna increase within a year maybe two years and so would we switch to a variable at that point or do you think we would still stick to the fixed I, th I think a lot of people are still kind of afraid of the increase, so I think they would stay with the fixed. Is that what experience. you're advising people? Yes. Ah. But you can, I've heard that you can save money with a variable, but it's a gamble. Yeah, you can. Well, a lot of people today, they like the budget. So on a variable, the interest rates can fluctuate. That means your payment will fluctuate. On a fixed, you have the same payment, let's say every month, and that'll fit into the, the budgeting. Land transfer tax, we all mm. love it so much. Just one of the things we have to pay for when we're uh, buying is. and selling or just buying just a house? Just buying, okay. yeah. What are some of the other costs associated with real estate? When you're purchasing, um, it's just land transfer taxes and lawyer fees. Um, lawyer fees range. Um, they all have a set uh, fee that they have to pay to the government, which is called a disbursement. Um, so they're typically around $1,500 for purchasing. Um, land transfer taxes, um, moving costs, um, that's something else that's associated. I always tell my buyers to put about 1% um, of your purchase price aside for your closing costs. How much, how much do you think? 1%. 1%. Yeah. Now it depends though, because if you're buying in Toronto, there are two land transfer taxes um, that you do have to pay. So in Toronto, it's a little bit higher. Um, with selling, uh, you do pay real estate commissions and lawyer fees, but not land transfer taxes. And hopefully you've got, you've made so much profit on the house that that yeah. doesn't come out of your pocket. It That's just correct. cuts into the yeah. profit it comes on, off the, the closing the house. costs. Yeah. Phew. Yeah. Pre-approval, uh, I assume we're talking mortgage pre-approval. Is yes. that important, Danny? Yes. Yeah, very important. It's actually a great way for the buyer to uh, uh, reach their goal into uh, getting into the market. Does it mean that when you find that house, you're ready to move on it right away? Because you've got your lender in place? Yes, yes, exactly. It's, uh, it gives the buyer uh, an idea where their financial capabilities are so that they're not looking in a 
area or price range where they're not able to be approved for. That's really smart, yeah. isn't it? Oh, we can't afford the $1.2 million house. Oh, <laughs> good to know. Yeah, exactly. And then you don't waste all that time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely something that I always ask my buyers to do before going out and house shopping because um, you don't want to have an unrealistic um, expectation or get your hopes up and then go see that beautiful million dollar house <laughs> that you love and then you can't buy it. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's better to have everything in line, all your ducks in a row. All right, be honest with me. Yeah. People have a wish list of what they want. They do. Is it really what they want? There's always compromising like anything in okay. life. <laughs> um, we do our best to, to try and find that product that suits my client's needs and uh, really covers all the check marks, as many as possible. I just want to know how many times you've taken people around to houses they've asked to see yeah. because of their wish list, and then they end up buying something completely different. It's, oh, <laughs> it happens more often than you think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. Um, it, it, on average, we see about 20 homes before somebody purchases one, um, and, and that gives them, you know, perception on the market. You have to get their feet wet and really get out there and see what's on the market. Because once yeah. you understand what you can buy with that money, yeah. then you're willing to go, oh, okay, maybe yeah. this isn't so important. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, what should, what's the first thing someone should do in order to get pre-approved, Danny? Uh, the first thing is to give me a call and meet with me. That's all it takes? Yeah, that's all it takes. How, how quickly can people get pre-approved? Uh, it depends on everybody's got a different situation. It could take up to 45 minutes. It could take maybe a few hours. Oh, but in a day? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. And then you can be out house shopping the next day. Exactly. Looking for that dream home. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. How do people get in touch with you when they're ready to go house shopping, Camelia? Um, well, you can reach me directly um, at 647-986-2264, um, or you can call me through my office, which is 905-828-3434. Um, also, uh, you can reach me through my website, CamelliaRebo.com, um, or via email, info at CamelliaRebo.com. Brilliant. Lots of ways. And how about you, Danny, when it's time for the mortgage? Well, they can contact me direct at 416-451-4158 or they can uh, go on my website and fill an application on my website, which is www.dannysimbronmortgage.com. Thank you both for being here with me today and uh, uh, I hope you sell lots of houses. Thanks for having me.